I have found an enormous, enormous buffalo bull. And a buffalo bull, everybody, is supposed to be one of the most terrifying animals in all of Africa. And if you were walking down this road, this is the animal that you would not want to see because they can get very scared of human beings. And if they get very scared, well, then they sometimes will attack us. But you can see he's very happy right now and he's not going to attack us. And we're sitting close to him because we're in a vehicle. And so we're perfectly safe where we are. And you can see he's an old fellow. His eyes are eaten clean of their fur by the oxpeckers. Those are the birds that you might see sitting on him very soon. That's why that skin is missing. And he's sitting in what we call a pan. Now a pan is like a pond that forms out here. There you can see him sitting in his pan. And for a buffalo bull, an old man like this, this is the perfect place to sit because it's shady, there's nice cool mud in it, and he can lie here very comfortably for the whole day. And Alexia, you're wondering what they eat, especially, I suppose, because you can see him chewing. But have you seen him bite anything? I bet you haven't seen him bite anything at all. What he's eating now is actually his lunch. He's eating his lunch again. He had his lunch about two or three hours ago, but he's still eating it. How is that possible? For lunch, he would have picked a lot of grass that there is around here. He would have eaten a lot of grass and swallowed it. And now he's eating it again. He's re-chewing it. And that's called rumination. Can you all say that? Rumination. It's quite a difficult word. So he is a ruminant who does rumination. And you'll find it's just the same with deer or American buffalo or any of the antelope species that we get here. And what they do is they lie down, and cows, of course, the cows are the same. They lie down and they vomit up into their mouths. Watch his mouth now. There you see, he vomited up into his mouth and he's re-chewing the food that he had earlier today. Now I know that sounds gross, but it's not very gross for if you only eat things like grass. And so he's re-chewing it, he's chewing it again and again and again and then swallowing it and vomiting it and chewing it and swallowing it again. And what that means is that he can get a lot of nutrients, a lot of good food from his one meal. And the reason they have to do that is that it's very, very difficult for them to digest grass. Now, Alexia, you've asked a question that indicates you are very like me. You want to know how l long do these poor things live? You know, here's a buffalo bull and he looks like he's all on his lone and he's lonely. And how long does he live? Well, Alexia, not as long as you're going to. Normally, they only live for about... 14 or 15 years but if you were to keep one away from lions and away from the difficulties of living out here in the wilderness you'd find that they probably live for as much as 20 years but out here very seldom do they live beyond sort of 15 or so and normally they'll be eaten by lions before they reach their 15th birthday but although he will be eaten by lions he's a very big fellow And Dini, you're wondering what the average mass or weight of a buffalo is. Well, up to 800 kilograms. Now, 800 kilograms, if you multiply that by 2.2, gets you to roughly 1,800 pounds. So that's pretty big. That's for a big bull. And I'm just going to check in this area because it does. it is different from one area to another. Some areas, they'll be heavier, and some areas, they'll be lighter than they are. And that often depends on what they have to eat. So that says here on my very special app that I have on my phone, it says that in this area, actually, they don't weigh quite that much. They weigh normally just about 620 kilograms, which is about 1,600 pounds. And that's the big bulls. But they can weigh up to 800, which is enormous, especially up in East Africa. And Genevieve, they are not born with horns. You say, are they born with horns? No, they aren't. There's a very good reason why no animal is born with horns. Remember, they have to suckle from their mothers. And their mothers' udders are underneath 
between the back legs exactly the same way that they are on a cow. And so if the animal had to um, suckle with horns, can you imagine, sorry about the sun, can you imagine how much harm they would do to their mother's udders if they were born with horns? And in actual fact, buffalo are quite clever. Those horns don't come out like that. When they grow, they come out the back, so they face backwards on the buffalo's head. And that means that when they lift their noses to suckle, they don't hurt their mother's udders with those horns. So it's really quite clever. And then much later, the horns come up to the front and then they split out like that. And eventually, after many years, they end up like this old boy's horns there. And you